Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is January 13, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here, no driving will be allowed after 5 p.m. Eastern Time in New York. All right, big breaking news coming out. Give me a second. If you can, please share this video. I want to show you something really quick here. Um, so here we go. On Saturday, January 13, 2024, a travel ban for Erie County and the I-90 has been issued due to the severe winter weather forecasted to impact Western New York through Sunday. All right. Um, there is a ban on truck slash tractor trailer traffic on the I-90 from exit 46 and other regions too. So we have all the information here, guys. Um, please be prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally. More than 35 million uh, are going to see a huge uh, event. And uh, they're telling people to stay home, be safe. Uh, make sure you have your phone fully charged just in case, uh, you, you know, situation goes bad. Uh, make sure you have candles. Um, again, grids. A lot of grids uh, needs to be updated, and uh, there's a possibility, who knows, maybe lights might turn off. Um, also, NY, they got their National Guards, and, uh, and so many other things was activated yesterday. So today, uh, National Guards are out there in NY. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right. This is like the first time I'm hearing something like this. Vehicles banned starting 5 p.m. No driving. All right. So, uh, all right. So... It says here on Saturday, once again, January 13, 2024, a travel ban for Erie County and the I-90 has been issued due to the severe winter weather forecasted to impact western New York through Sunday. The driving ban begins on Saturday, January 13, so today, um, at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Okay, uh, I was told it was 5 p.m. Okay, so 9 p.m. I truly apologize, guys. I guess they updated all the information. So anyone on uh, the road that is not considered emergency personnel will be ticketed Ooh, in Erie County and the I-90. Wow. So the ban will be active till Sunday, January 14 at 6 a.m. So this is only going to be just for a couple of hours. Uh, depending on the storm. Okay, so depending on the storm on Sunday. So the ban may be extended. Wow. Uh, depending on the storm. So a travel advisory for the entire areas of western New York remains effect. And additionally, there is a ban on trucks slash tractor trailer traffic on the I-90 from exit 46 in the Rochester slash... Uh, Han Hanoretta to the Pennsylvania border. So you have the Buffalo Bill games uh, has been rescheduled to Monday, January 15, 2024 at 4.30 p.m. Usually NFL, I mean, they play in the, in the blizzards and cold and everything, even in Green Bay. I mean, you guys already know about football, but this one here, yeah, I mean, they have to call it, <laughs> man. Uh, so you have, here we go, uh, so you have troopers will be out uh, checking all major routes of travel to ensure that the motorists are as safe as possible and working with uh, local emergency operators, excuse me, operations center as needed. All right, so you have the state blue 
need your assistance to make this possible. Motorists uh, traveling in areas impacted by the snow and ice are asked to leave with extra time to make a slow and careful drive to your destination. Now consider the snow accumulation on the roads, the current snowfall rate, the wind, and visibility. Use your best judgment to determine if driving is prudent. So again, please be safe out there. And I lived, uh, I lived in New Jersey. I was born in Jersey, then raised in Puerto Rico. Came back at the age of 18 or 19. Don't remember. Uh, but uh, again, New Jersey. When it comes to blizzards in New York, uh, Boston, Connecticut, uh, those uh, those area up north. I mean, it just it's pretty pretty uh, tough, especially driving. I mean, you could hit the brakes slow. And your car starts sliding, and then you can hit a parked vehicle. So you got to be careful. Please be safe out there. Um, and uh, we are, again, praying for so many people up there in uh, multiple states up, nor up north. So keep the following tips in mind. Get the latest weather forecast before leaving with your local weather app. Monitor radio or TV station. Uh, now, yesterday, I did post a video, and... Uh, I recommend that uh, people to download the app, the National Weather Service app. All right, and uh, make sure you hit that notification. They put out updates, so it's very important to uh, to have these apps on your phone, so that way you know uh, what's going on and uh, what to expect. Um, also, you go hit that notification bell. I will keep you guys updated too. All right, so stations uh, always clean your window and mirrors fully. Of any snow and ice before driving keep a full tank of gas ah yes forgot fill up your gas tanks fill up your gas tanks you may uh, you may want to do that uh, because the lights goes off yeah you want to keep that tank uh, full number two make sure you have a uh, uh, the right uh, fluid in your radiator don't put no water in there I know a lot of people uh, can uh, afford like the 50 50 an antifreeze but uh, again don't don't add water into it you're just gonna mess up your engine uh, so make sure that you uh, again your tank are full make sure that uh, you know you have the USB charger for you uh, for your car so that way you can charge your phone let's say the lights goes off in your house or your apartment at least you have your vehicle to charge your phone just in case for emergency all right uh, fluid levels are sufficient. Windshield washer fluid. Ah, I just mentioned this. Antifreeze. All right, so spare tire is sufficient, and you have the jack and wheel wrench. Guys, I don't know. Again, when it comes to spare tire, uh, I have a Kia, uh, a 2023 Kia Forte, and I had a flat tire not too long ago. So I went and popped the trunk, and uh, I'm looking for, man, I'm looking for the spare tire. I'm like, what's the spare tire? I look under the car and see, what's the spare tire? There's no jack. There's no spare tire. They're just an uh, empty trunk, and it's a brand new car. So I called, you know, the Kia dealer. I'm like, you guys forgot to put a spare tire. Oh, we don't do that no more. We don't put spare tires no more in vehicles. We stopped doing that. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, you could call the number on your windshield, the towing number, and they come and take your car and bring it to us. <laughs> Man. Make sure you have a, a spare tire if you don't have one. I got to get one. I got to. And that was a big headache. Big, big headache. They take your vehicle and you, you know for like a day and uh, you have to walk home. Make sure you have a spare tire. Don't be like me. Um... So, uh, use headlights of all at all times to increase your visibility to others. Remember, if your windshields wipers are in use due to weather, then your headlights must be on. All right. So, are uh, we gonna skip some of this stuff here, guys? Even though it's very important. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, it's a long list here. So, I will share this video. I mean, this uh, link if you guys want to check it out. Again, drive uh, carefully. If the conditions are adverse, you should decrease your speed uh, accordingly. Brake early. You may want to 
kind of uh, slow down driving and hit the brakes really slow. Don't don't hit it really hard. Then you start uh, you know sliding. Just you know slow down. Uh, going down a hill, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't. I'd take different routes. Um, do not use cruise control. Alright, I'm just gonna skip a lot of this stuff here, guys. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. So if you if you do go out, is your vehicle prepared? Is your trunk supplied to help you uh, to be safe in case you are uh, stopped or stranded in an area without assistance? Um, so give me a second here. Gloves, blankets, warmers, toolkit, first aid kit, uh, non-perishable food, water, working flashlight and battery, cell phone, charger, etc. So these are very important stuff here. This is what I've been um, saying for the last couple of days. These are the things that you need. Uh, shovel. Yes, shovel. You need a shovel. Uh, just in case, you know, your car is filled with snow and you need to shovel that thing out. So, ice scraper, number one. Ice scraper, you can find the Dollar Tree at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. Uh, De-icer, snow brush, rock salt, or cat litter. I prefer cat litter. Uh, rock salt is just going to damage your car. I mean, that's where rust comes out uh, eventually. So, tow chain or cable, you need jumpy cables. Jumpy cables, very important. Battery charger, etc. All these stuff is really good. I'm glad I found this article. Uh, if you are involved in a collision or leave the roadway, if you drive off the roadway and are stuck in a snow bank or ditch, stay in your vehicle and call the three numbers. Do not exit your vehicle unless it is an absolute emergency. You put yourself at a really tough spot of being struck by another, you know what, Okay, so very important information here, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this link in the comments box. Give me a second here. So, all right. So, very, very good info that's coming out. Uh, and, again, the reason why they're doing that... Uh, uh, the reason why they're doing that travel ban is because they want people to be safe. And, um, again, guys, uh, I lived up north, and trust me... Um, it's not pretty driving in the snow. So uh, I seen a video. Uh, there was this one car just going down slowly. And there was a woman. She was trying to control it. She was just yelling in fear. And uh, you could hear the uh, the people saying, stay, in, uh, stay inside your vehicle. Don't get out. Just let it go down. Let it slide. If it hits something, it hits something. Just stay in your vehicle. So again, please drive slow. Hit the brakes early. Don't wait till the very last minute. When you hit the brakes, make sure you 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 tap it slowly. Don't just you know push it down. And you're really asking for a nice slide. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna keep you updated on this uh, uh, winter storm. It's not only for NY, but they're saying across the Sleeping Giant, and again, more than 35 million are being told to prepare. I do believe the numbers has gone up. 35 million was yesterday. Today, there's a possibility. It might be in the 40 or 50 million. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.